So let me start by telling you about Mindful Process Assurance. Mindful Process Assurance is a phrase that was coined by our company. It is not a phrase that is listed in any dictionary or lexicon. If you search on the internet, the definition of this phrase is posted on our website. The definition of Mindful Process Assurance is Assurance of operation based on awareness of purpose. So regarding what assurance of operation based on awareness of purpose means, there is a case that is easy to understand. So let me explain using that case. This is a case when our company representative in June of 2000 was in charge of the production department of a water heater manufacturing company and he received a particular customer claim. This incident happened in June 2000. Our company representative at that time was in charge of the production department of a company manufacturing water heaters. And the incident revolves around a customer complaint they received at that time. So to explain more about that customer claim, it was a defect where gas was reported to be leaking from the water heater. So how was the gas leaking? There are gas pipes inside the water heater. And at the joint between the gas pipes, there is an o-ring made of rubber that is placed between the pipes and tightened into place with a screw. If there is even a gap of one millimeter left below the screw, this is considered a defect. So what happens if there is even a gap of one millimeter? When transported in a truck, for example, due to the vibrations, the screw tends to loosen. Eventually the screw will fall off and the gas pipes are no longer connected. In this condition of disconnected gas pipes, the unit was installed at the customer site. So there was a complaint from the customer that they could smell gas, so the unit was returned. This can lead to a catastrophic explosion or even a fatal accident from a small mistake. This defect can lead to serious accidents that must be reported to the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. As a company, this is a big problem. So in dealing with it and investigating the cause, at a time when various measures were being taken, it was mentioned that the operator that had assembled the defective unit was working in the production line. That production line had not undergone any improvements yet and the conditions were the same as when the defect occurred. Therefore it was said let's go see it right away. So all those involved went to the site immediately. They watched for about an hour. The operation itself is just a minute so they observed the screw tightening operation of around 60 units. During that time, it was said two things were noticed. The first is that out of the 60 units observed, one unit actually resulted in an improperly tightened screw. When the improper tightening of the screw occurred, everyone thought, oh, the screw was not tightened properly. The operator at the workstation was a veteran of 10 years thus was well aware of the screw not being properly tightened. So he proceeded to loosen the screw, realign the gas pipes, and retighten the screw, thereby reworking the unit with no issue. So after observing this action which fixed the problem, they wondered how could such an experienced and exemplary operator produce a unit where the screw was not tightened properly. There was one more item they noticed at that time. Regarding the tightening of the screw, its torque needs to be controlled, so an electric screwdriver is used. When the electric screwdriver reaches a certain level of torque, it clicks and stops rotating. The electric screwdriver is being operated by the right hand, and as for the left hand, it is doing some prep work for the next operation, such as picking up small parts and picking up screws. The right hand tightens the screw with the electric screwdriver, while the left hand prepares for the next operation. While performing this operation, the operator would glance at his left hand from time to time. Why was he looking at his left hand? They observed that the operator was looking at his left hand whenever he was unable to pick up the part or the screw on the first try. Of course, the operator is concerned, so he would glance at what is of concern. During the hour they observed the operator, there was an occurrence of improper tightening. At the moment an improper tightening occurs, the left hand fails to pick up the item and the operator looks at his left hand. Although the probability is low when these two moments overlap, the question arises whether that operator will look back at the screw to see if it was tightened properly. Please picture it. 
As the electric screwdriver reaches the required torque, the rotation stops and a clicking vibration is felt. You can tell that the screw has tightened by this vibration that is felt in the hand. However, it is not possible to judge whether or not the screw has tightened all the way without looking at it. Unless the mindful act of always looking at the bottom of the screw head is assured, that defect will occur again. This concept is the foundation of mindful process assurance. At that time, what was expected of the operator was the confirmation of the result, namely that there is no gap below the screw head. It is written in the QC process chart or drawing that the screw should be inspected visually to make sure there is no gap below the screw head. But there is no instruction to take specific action such as look at the bottom of the screw head. So in that way, they realize there are many such processes which may fail if certain points are not specifically seen by eye. They noticed if that point is not looked at physically by eye, then the process may fail. They found many such points. So they started making this the quality standard. And this was the beginning of Mindful Process Assurance 2.0. For example, when putting down this plastic bottle, to put it down like this, or to put it down like this. Which one do you think is more dangerous? For those who think this is more dangerous, they have slowly learned, without perhaps even realizing, to manage based on the results. This is performance management. And therefore, they feel this is more dangerous. However, when viewed from the perspective of mindful process assurance, this is actually safer. Let me repeat the actions one more time. Putting it down like this, and putting it down like this. Did you get it? When putting it down like this, I'm not looking at the bottle when putting it down. Therefore, if a chopstick or pencil is on the table and you place the bottle on top of it unknowingly, the bottle may fall. When I put it down like this, I'm looking at it, so if it's about to fall, I'll put it back. Placed without looking, placed by looking. This seeing or not seeing is regarded as a process. Do we want the result of a process that is not guaranteed? Or do we want the result from a process that is guaranteed? Taking this process, seeing or not seeing, as the control standard is the concept behind mindful process assurance. I would like to invite you to think about the products and services provided by your company or organization. Are you adopting the putting without seeing approach where results depend on processes which are not assured? Or are you adopting the approach of always seeing while placing which assures the process which leads to the result? I would like you to consider the difference in management standards here. I think you got the image of mindful process assurance through the placing of bottles example earlier. Until now, quality control standards have basically been results oriented, such as whether the screw is tight or isn't tight was the single control standard. With mindful process assurance, on the other hand, the focus is not on the result of whether the screw is tightened or not, but on the action and process of seeing the base of the screw head on whether it was seen or not seen and therefore the process becomes the basis of quality control. Therefore, it is drastically different from the previous control standards. This effort to manage based on standards of seeing or not seeing is the foundation of quality control based on Mindful Process Assurance 2.0.